Hey everyone, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at three strong buy dividend stocks. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at three stocks that not only pay a healthy dividend, but they also come in with a strong buy consensus from Wall Street analysts. So today, we're gonna take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, and what those analysts are predicting for the stock's future. We found today's stocks using the best dividend stock page over on TipRanks. Found underneath the dividend menu, it gives us a list here of some top rated dividend stocks. I sorted by analyst consensus to get our strong buys here at the top and went from there. Just before we get into these three stocks, this is your reminder that if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Now first on our list, we're taking a look at Rio Tinto. They trade under the ticker RIO, currently priced at $66 per share. In the past year, the stock has gained 7.5%, has seen some ups and downs. In the last three months, we're up 3.7% overall. Rio Tinto is a global mining and metals company. They find, mine, and process the Earth's mineral resources. Their portfolio includes iron ore, copper, aluminum, bauxite, diamonds, uranium, and industrial materials like titanium dioxide and salt. They operate in 35 countries and have over 150 years of mining and processing experience. Rio Tinto pays out their dividend on a semi-annually basis, and their goal is to pay out 40 to 60% of their underlying earnings to shareholders. So that does mean we see the dividend fluctuate. The last one back in April was $2.58 for a dividend yield of 6.5%. The next one will be coming up here shortly, and we can expect a payment date around early August. The dividend does line up with their earnings reports as well, which they only share twice a year for year-end and half-year results. The last came out in February, and the next is due out soon at the end of July. For their last earnings report, they did have earnings per share of $4.16, which was well ahead of the $3.81 expected. They had underlying EBITDA of $23.9 billion and production growth of 3%. Near the end of May, we did have a five-star analyst from Argus Research reiterate their buy rating on the stock. They raised their price target to $82, saying that the company has strengthened its operating performance and balance sheet by cutting costs and selling non-core assets. They also said that their current dividend yield is attractive, signaling value in the stock, adding that based on the company's clean balance sheet and high level of profitability, its shares merit a premium multiple. With five current analyst ratings, the Rio Tinto stock does come in as a unanimous strong buy. And the average price target comes in at $77.63 for an upside potential of 17%. Looking at our list of ratings down below, our prices are all fairly close together. Our low-end price target is $75 for an upside of 13%, and our high-end price target is that Argus rating at $82 for an upside of 23.75%. For our second strong buy dividend stock, we're going north of the border to the Royal Bank of Canada. They trade under the ticker RY, currently priced at $103 per share. In the past year, their stock has gained nearly 15%, and in the last three months is up about 4.5%. RBC does hold the title of largest bank in Canada. They are one of North America's leading diversified financial services companies, providing personal and commercial banking, wealth management, insurance, investor services, and capital market products on a global basis. They have nearly 100,000 employees who serve over 17 million clients across the Canada, US, and 27 other countries. The Royal Bank has been paying out a dividend since 1870, so that is over 150 years of dividend payments. Now, during the financial crisis in 2008, they did keep their dividend steady at 50 cents for a few years, but have been growing it steadily ever since. Their current quarterly dividend comes in at $1.03 for a dividend yield of 3.89% and a payout ratio of about 48%. Their next ex-dividend date is July 25th for a payment of August 23rd. Now the dividend growth here does look like just four years, uh, but that is because of currency exchange as they pay out in Canadian. So this is the US equivalent down here. They shared a strong Q2 earnings report just a few weeks ago on May 30th. For their Q2, they reported earnings per share of $2.13, which beat expectations by $0.12 cents per share and grew nearly 10% year-over-year. Their net income of $4 billion was up 7% year-over-year, and during the quarter, the company also completed their acquisition of HSBC Bank. Assigning a buy rating to the Royal Bank stock following this earnings report was a five-star analyst from Bank of America Securities. 
They noted that the acquisition of HSBC has already begun to yield expense synergies, with half realized by the end of the quarter, which was earlier than anticipated due to the efficient nature of the transaction. They highlighted the bank's strong capital position, saying it positions them to both pursue growth opportunities and withstand potential macroeconomic challenges. The Royal Bank stock does come in as a strong buy with 12 current analyst ratings, breaking down to 10 buys and 2 holds. The average price target comes in at $113 for an upside potential of over 9% from current prices. Looking at our list down below, on the low end we do have a hold here uh, with a slight upside just shy of 2% and our high end price target comes from Argus Research with an upside of over 15%. And last but not least today, we're taking a look at Sunoco. They trade under the ticker SUN or SUN, currently priced at about $54.50 per share. Their stock has climbed 31% in the last year, but has cooled off recently, down over 10% in the last three months. Sunoco focuses on the management and distribution of fuel products. With over 130 years in the fuel industry, they are the largest independent fuel distributor in the United States. The company distributes fuel to over 5,000 gas station locations in more than 30 states. They pay out their dividend on a quarterly basis and their most recent quarterly dividend was $0.88 per share for an attracted dividend yield of 6.54%. The last payment was back in May, so we can anticipate the next one to be coming up in early August. They shared their Q1 earnings report back near the start of May. They beat earnings expectations by over a dollar, reported record net income, and increased their full-year guidance. Earnings per share came in at $2.45, well ahead of the $1.31 anticipated, and they reported net income of $230 million compared to $140 million last year. They increased that quarterly dividend by 4% and their full-year adjusted EBITDA guidance to include the acquisition of New Star Energy. Following this, several analysts upgraded their rating, including one five-star analyst from JP Morgan. They also placed the shares on a positive catalyst watch after the acquisition of Newstar. They view the acquisition as a transformational deal and see Sunoco as a more diversified entity with increased stability, scale, and growth opportunities with particularly attractive synergy capture potential. The Sunoco stock currently has seven analyst ratings, coming in as a strong buy with six buys and one hold. And the average price target comes in at $61.29 for an upside potential of 12.5%. And you can see several five-star analysts weighing in on the stock, and once again a pretty close range of price targets. The low end is actually this buy rating here from Mizuho with an upside of 8.3%, while our high-end price target is the most recent here from Citi with an upside of over 19%. So that is a quick look at three dividend stocks, all with a strong buy rating from Wall Street. Let me know your thoughts on these companies in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. And of course, keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, so make sure you stick to your own investment plan. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you back here next time.